Dear students, today we will discuss what is biochemistry. So biochemistry is the study of biomolecules. So if we define biochemistry, we can define it like that study of structure, composition, properties, synthesis and degradation of molecules present inside living organisms. So biomolecules are the molecules that are present inside living organism. So there are two types of biomolecules, macromolecules and micromolecules. Macromolecules are the polymers of small molecules <coughs> like carbohydrates. By carbohydrates we mean polysaccharides, proteins, nucleic acids, lipids and fats. Micromolecules are the monomers or vitamins. Monomers of macromolecules like amino acids, sugars, monosaccharides, glycerols, fatty acids. It also includes minerals, hormones and water. So minerals and water, they are included in, they are inorganic in nature. So, in biochemistry, our next topic is cell structure. So, before going in detail, we should know what is the cell and what are the components of the cell which are important in biochemistry. So, in cell structure, cell is the smallest living unit of an organism. We can categorize a cell into two broad categories which are prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. In prokaryotic cells, the nucleus is not well defined or we can say that nucleus is not membrane bounded and the organelles are also not present inside the membranes. So these are the simple cells. They are present and they are the unicellular organisms like bacteria. They are not membrane bounded membrane enclosed organelles are nucleus the chromatin material is present inside the cytoplasm but it is spreaded <coughs> in eukaryotic cells it is a it contains true nucleus eukaryote mean containing true nucleus these are the complex and well advanced cells present in plants and animals or multicellular organisms so the they contain membrane enclosed organelles and nucleus there are three common things in all type of cells these are cell membrane cytoplasm and dna cell membrane separates cell from its surrounding or environment cytoplasm is the jelly like intracellular material and dna is the hereditary or genetic material now moving on to organelles Organelles are little organ inside the cell. So first organelles is the nucleus. It is the control center of cell which contains genetic material like DNA. So what is DNA? DNA consists of nucleotides and it dictates what a, what a cell has to do and how. It stores all information and transmits this information in the form of triplet codon. Nucleus contains nuclear membrane. So nucleoplasm is enclosed inside the nuclear membrane. So it is a porous envelope of nucleus which contains nucleoplasm. Nucleoplasm is jelly-like fluid inside the nucleus which contain chromatin material. What is chromatin? Chromatin is the spreaded form of DNA inside the nucleus and chromosomes Chromosomes are the condensed form of chromatin during cell division. It contains DNA and histone proteins and some other scaffolding proteins. Nucleolus is the site where ribosomes are organized and synthesized. 
So here we shown the structure of nucleus which contains a nuclear membrane and contains nuclear pores from where ribosomes or RNA enters into the cytoplasm. It contains a chromatin material which condenses during cell division and here is the nucleolus and the yellowish color is the nucleoplasm. So what second is the we should know what is cytoplasm so all other organelles are present inside the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm contains organelles that float inside it. So first one we will discuss about ribosomes. Ribosomes freely move are attached on endoplasmic reticulum. These are important for synthesis of proteins along with mRNA, messenger RNA, making a structure called polysome. If we look at the structure of polysome, it is an mRNA which contains, which, which is attached with several ribosomes. And if we look at the ribosome structure, it contains two subunits, smaller subunit and a larger subunit. Smaller sub subunit in, in eukaryotic cell, the whole ribosome is ATS. S means Wedberg unit. It is the sedimentation unit. And in prokaryote, the ribosome is 70S, which is smaller than eukaryotic ribosome. And if we look at the smaller and larger subunits, smaller subunit is of 40S and larger subunit is 60S in eukaryotes. And it makes a total of 80S ribosome. Ribosomes are synthesized from RNA, ribosomal RNA and proteins. Endoplasmic reticulum. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which is the network of passages without ribosomes. And rough endoplasmic reticulum, it is the network or channels with ribosomes attached on the surfaces. <coughs> endoplasmic reticulum carry out transportation of materials like proteins synthesized by mRNA and ribosomes. Here is the structure of rough endoplasmic reticulum.